Hey, my name is Adam from Innovation in Tech Today. Welcome to Gadget Gauntlet. Today we're going to be reviewing and unboxing the SMA Circle S1, a foldable e-bike like you've never seen before. Small enough that you could fit it in a backpack and supposedly you can carry it on an airplane. Let's check it out. So SMA Circle was kind enough to send us one of these a couple weeks ago, but we haven't had a chance to ride it. It's, the weather's been really bad. We're here in Denver and it actually like just started to melt. So yeah, we're gonna take this bad boy for a ride. Let's check it out. So unboxing it, one of the first things we, we noticed that really caught our eye was the design. Wait till you see how crazy this thing is. So opening it up here, oh, we got the bike. I was surprised how small this box was when we first got it too. Like, like literally this is the bike right here. Um, it's maybe like 20 pounds, but obviously it's folded up already. So I'll check this thing out. It's pretty, pretty user friendly. We got a instruction booklet here. Looks like it's got like step-by-step -step instructions on how to fold it and charge the battery and everything like that. But no one really uses those. Um, let's check this thing out and unfold it. So first impressions, like I said, it's really small. There's a couple buttons, pretty easy to use. Um, there's a middle button that folds it and kind of folds it in the middle there. So you can set it down there. And then we have two buttons on the front and wheel wheel here. So you could just push those in. Supposedly locks in, that's the back wheel. Then we got a button up here. Looks like it folds out. Yeah, the design is really cool. The circle uh, design is supposed to help like distribute your weight. Supposedly super small. It kind of reminds me of one of those like Razor scooters you used to have when you were a kid that you just fold up and carry where you needed to go. Let's see, there's a couple buttons here so you can adjust the seat. Let's see, a little latch here. There's a cool little headlight actually that hooks up to the smart app so you can ride at night. There's a little cord here, be careful with that. Looks like it snaps in here. Uh, and we got lastly, one, two, three, four, five. There's a little button up here for the handlebars. Yeah, looks like this is it. Looks like that's it right there. Let's see what else we got in the box here. Looks like we got the battery. Super cool battery, small circle. It looks like it's got even a brake light on there. Um, and it actually doubles as a seat conveniently. So easily just snaps on here. Yeah, a little snap right there. Like there's some latches underneath here so you can easily take that off and just throw it in your bag once you want to fold it up. Um, the battery takes about like three hours to charge, but we, we uh, charge it ahead of time. The only thing I would have to say to the charger, um, of course this is from China. So when we got the adapter, literally they sent us it, it came with like a Chinese outlet. Or, so we had to, luckily we had another adapter. So one thing you might want to think about before you get it is to make sure you have the right adapter or I don't know if they're gonna be sending them with American uh, adapters when they do finally send. But yeah, other than that, I think she's ready to go. It's pretty lightweight. Um, there's a small little cord here, power cord, you just plug it in. And then there's a little button in back. And yeah, I wanna say she's ready to go. Um, yeah, other than that, I think we're uh, ready to go outside. Let's take this bad boy for a ride. So yeah, the Small Circle S1 super convenient. After folding it up, we brought it down here. It's, it's, a, it's a little less than like 20 pounds, but I really like how it's super easy to fold. Someone like me that goes on a regular commute could just fold it up and set it down right next to me. That last mile from getting from the bus stop to, the, to home or to work, super convenient. But yeah, I'm ready to test this bad boy out. Like I said, it's finally a nice day, so let's get, let's get out of here.
it gets up pretty fast, uh, about 12 to 15 miles an hour. The handling's a little, little different. It takes a little getting used to. Front wheel drive. Nice. The Smart Circle S1 overall is super cool. I love the unique design on it, and it's actually really fun to ride. Um, I want to say I'm, I'm getting maybe like 12, 13 miles per hour on it, so it seems kind of fast. The handling on it is a uh, front wheel, so it, it's a little jerky, but I think after a while it takes a little getting used to. Um, I want to say its max load is like 220 pounds, so maybe if you're a little bigger, it might not be the right fit for you. But um, the mile range is said to also be maybe like 12 to 13 miles distance uh, and battery life, so. It, it kind of gets you that last little mile, uh, depending on where you're traveling. I think, I think the handling is super cool and the um, throttle and brake are super easy and convenient. You just have a button over here on your right and left hand side for brake and throttle. And surprisingly, the seat is actually really convenient. When I first looked at this, it doesn't look like it'll be comfortable, but it really is actually. And I forgot to mention it also has a USB port for those travelers, maybe to charge your iPhone or your phone or laptop or something like that. So I thought that was cool. And one of the other things I forgot to mention, which is super cool and unique about the small circle is it uses Bluetooth to connect to your smart app. And it has, a, it has its own small circle app, which in real time can tell you miles per hour, your battery life, so you know how much juice you got left and how much distance you've actually gone. So it's, it's super cool. I wanna say online it has some kind of magnetic strip or something to like con connect it there, but this is still a prototype. Small circle right now, um, until like April 30th, you can, you can get pre-orders right now for $999. And then I believe it goes on sale May 1st, um, starting at $1399. So it's kind of got a little price ticket on it, but it's super cool, super unique. The design's really cool. I would totally ride one of these things. So thanks for tuning in to Gadget Gauntlet. Make sure you like and subscribe. And let us know if you'd ride one of these bad boys.